Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on working out a calculation using a given fact involving decimals. So we're told already that 3.9 times 6 is 23.4 and somehow we have to use this true fact, this thing that we know, to work out these other calculations. And we don't want to have to try and work these out directly, we want to somehow use this to instantly get the answer here. Now let's think about A. We want to do 2340 divided by 6. Now, can you see that this 2340 looks a bit like the 23.4, and we've got the 6 here? Is there some way we can rearrange this original calculation to get something that almost looks like that? Well, yes, there is. Imagine if you had, say, like 2 times 4 equals 8, and I'm sure you accept that. You probably also accept that 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So I could do 8 divided by either of these numbers to get the other. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, 8 divided by 4 is 2. And we can do the same here. So if I want to get the 2, 3, 4, 0 divided by 6, I could say that the 23.4 divided by the 6 is 3.9. So let's write that. We know that 23.4 divided by 6 is equal to 3.9 by just using this multiplication. And now we can get the answer to A. So with A, we've got 2, 3, 4, 0 divided by 6. Now let's compare this to this. Can you see that the decimal point from here to here has moved two places? Because the decimal point that is just before the 4, it's moving one, two places. So this is getting 100 times bigger. So times 100, let's put there. And if the number on the left of the division is getting 100 times bigger, then that's going to make the result 100 times bigger as well. So if I make this 100 times bigger, well, if I times by 10 first, you get 39. Times by another 10, you get 390. So this is going to give you an answer of 390. And notice I was able to do this calculation without actually explicitly working out what is 2340 divided by 6. What about the next one? Well, I'm going to have to rearrange this again because I've got the 0 0.039 here. That looks like the 3.9. So if I take this, I can say that 23.4 divided by the 3.9 is equal to 6. So let's compare that to what I actually have in B. I've got 23.4 divided by 0 0.039. Now we have to be very careful here. This number is staying the same. This number is becoming 100 times smaller. Look, the decimal point was between the 3 and the 9, and it's moved two places to the left. It's 100 times smaller, so that's divided by 100. Now, be very careful here. When you divide by a smaller number, you end up with a bigger result. So this number you're dividing by becomes 100 times smaller. That means the overall result of this calculation will be 100 times bigger. So this is going to times by 100, and that's 600. Let me repeat that again. When you're dividing by a smaller number, you end up with a bigger result. But if the number on the left of the division you make smaller, then you're going to end up with a smaller result. And then the last one, C. Now I'm running out of space, so I'm going to have to do it uh, down here. We've got 0 0.39 times 6,000. Well, let's copy this out again. 3.9 times 6 is equal to 23.4. We know that's true because that's what we're told. Now we've got 0.39 times by 6,000. Now, both the numbers are changing this time. This number here is becoming 10 times smaller. Look, the decimal point was here. It's moved one place to the left, so that's 10 times smaller. And the 6 is becoming 1,000 times bigger. Now, because this is a multiplication, if I make something in the multiplication 10 times smaller, that's overall going to make this 10 times smaller. But if I make this thing in the multiplication 1,000 times bigger, it's going to make the overall result 1,000 times bigger. So if I divide something by 10 and then times it by 1,000, that has the overall effect of timesing just by 100. If you just think about it, 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. So we're making this 100 times bigger overall. And then we can do that by moving the decimal point twice to the right. So you move it once to get 234, and then you have to add a zero on the end. So you get 2340, and that's the final answer.